In this video, I'm going to give you a guided tour through Google AdWords. It can be kind of confusing. Believe me, the first couple of times that I sat down and tried to do anything with it, uh, you can sit there for several minutes just scratching your head wondering what in the world they want you to do. So this is going to help you quite a bit, especially if you've never used Google AdWords or if you've looked at it but didn't quite know what to do inside of it. Now remember too, I did give you that report on Google AdWords if you're a member of the Ad of the Month program. You do want to read that report. Uh, this will go along with that. Funny thing is a few things have already changed in Google AdWords since I even made that report a few weeks ago. And one of them is right here. Uh, this is how you actually click to start a new online campaign when, once you've got your account already set up. In the report, the picture that I had taken a few weeks ago, it was something that you clicked on over here. So that's already changed. But now that you've seen the video, that's not a problem. So this is what you do on the very first thing that you do when you log into Google AdWords. This is the first main page that you usually see. And you're going to want to look at your campaigns here, but if you want to still set up a campaign or set up an additional campaign, which is what I'm about to show you, what you want to do is click on the new online campaign. And how Google sections these out is each individual I guess different set of ads that you're doing is a different campaign. Now for this I've actually got campaigns for Hitman Advertising and also for my carpet cleaning company I think right here. And this is I've got a couple of different Google AdWords accounts so this is just one of my you know accounts that I've got. What you want to do is click on new online campaign to start a new one and I would probably start with keywords my carpet cleaner company I think right here. That's got. What you want to do is click just unique that even says the word your city in it because that, that's what they're looking for. They're looking for something associated with your city. Now you can have this different, in other words what's the saying by destination URL, if this was an ad about pet odor removal then you might want to not have it go to your direct main web page. You can have it go to one of your sub pages that's just on pet odor removal. Or if it's on tile cleaning you might do an ad on tile cleaning that might be the same thing. Now here's a hint too, if you're in a large city that might be what you want to do instead of spending dollar uh, fifty or two dollars per click on an ad in Houston or Atlanta or any other large city in the United States you might just want to target the people that are searching for pet odor removal or tile cleaning and that way you're not paying as much per click because that's not as highly sought after keyword so the keyword there may be pet odor removal um, Atlanta or it may be pet stains which is another keyword part of that pet stains or tile cleaning and then you might want to have your ad associated with that and again you would just call the headline pet stain removal Atlanta or pet stains Atlanta and then type out the first line you want to give a uh, general benefit the second line you want to give a specific call to action a specific thing they need to do to come up okay now it's going to ask for keywords now remember Especially if you're doing carpet cleaning, the only keywords that I'm really going to 
advise you to do, especially when you're first getting started. Now, any of you that are advanced with this, you can change that later on down the road. But especially when you're first getting started, I advise you to type in for the keywords carpet cleaning in your city name. And I would advise you to um, maybe put in your state abbreviation afterwards only if you're in a city that's maybe confused with another city in another state. Otherwise, like Pensacola is not that way, so otherwise you can just keep it like that. And let's see. Okay. And as far as what Google recommends for the keywords, I'd rarely even go with that. 